So dudes, thanks for tuning in. You can call me Kami. And today I'm going to help you guys with importing a 3D object into Unreal Engine. And I'm gonna show you also how to texture it. So we're gonna jump straight into it. Now I know not everyone knows how to model 3D objects. So open up your browser of choice and I'm gonna give you three links. These are God sense as to where you can download 3D objects for free. So let me get them up here. I already got them bookmarked. The first one is free3d.com. I'll save all these inside the description down below. You can find it there. I really like this website. It's got a wide selection of things. You can download 3D objects on all three of these websites, either for free or paid ones. This is probably like my number three site that I like to use. Another one is Turbo Squid. This one's great. They have a lot of options as far as file types that you can download, like object file types, FBX, Unreal Engine, assets. Um, I'll get more into details about all that in a separate video if you're more interested in 3D modeling. And the last website, which is my favorite one, is cgtrader.com. This website tends to almost always have what it is that I need, but if it's not here, I'll check those other sites. But for this tutorial today, we're gonna use the free3d.com and we're gonna search up something simple like a microwave. I already searched it previously, so let's look for a microwave. And bada bing, bada boom, you have a bunch of different options. Um, obviously, we're gonna want to get a free one. Let's try this microwave oven V2. And you always want to get one that has textures in it. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up with a 3D gray mesh. Now I know it says it doesn't have textures on this object. I think they just labeled it wrong because I've downloaded this before. So we're gonna download this object. Uh, let's open it up. Hopefully you have some kind of file extractor. I use WinWar or ZZip. So I'm gonna extract these files here and bada bing, bada boom, we have our microwave oven. So gratefully, this person has given us both the object file and the diffuse texture file. So I'm gonna rename this folder so it's not so confusing. And we're gonna go into Unreal Engine. Um, this is the previous project that I had open from the previous video, which is a practice project. And what you're gonna to want to do is stay organized. I highly recommend you do that. So in the content browser, we're gonna make a new folder and I'm just gonna call this objects. And so now we're gonna import the microwave itself. So all you gotta do is go to import and there is my microwave folder that I had in my downloads folder and I'm gonna click on the object and open. Now here a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo is gonna show up. Don't be intimidated. Um, normally you can leave it as default. I think in this case what I recommend you do is Go down here to where it says uh, mesh. You wanna expand this, and we're gonna go down to where it says combine meshes. So we're gonna make sure that that's checked on and click import. Um, in some cases, objects will have different components to them. So um, for example, this microwave could have had the door saved as like a separate component to the object. That way you could animate the door itself or maybe that little spinning disc on the inside where you put your food plate on. I just want it to be a simple one microwave so I'm combining the message, the mesh for that purpose. Cool, so we got our microwave, we've got our texture that I imported and uh, yeah it's already made a material for it as well. So I'm actually gonna backtrack this a bit because I want to show you guys how to implement the material. All right, cool. So we're going to take this microwave and drag it into our scene. You see that it's very small, so I'm just going to move it up, W key, and then press the R key to size it and make it a bit bigger. And let's press F to focus on it, and it's just this bland, boring default color. We don't want that. So I'm going to press the N key to place it down on the ground. We actually want to texture this thing. And we have this microwave texture right here. So what you can do is take this and drag it over to the material. Oh yeah, we have to turn this into a material. So we're going to right click on the texture, click on create material. 
And then we can take the created material. We're gonna click and drag it over to the materials um, box over here and then just land it on there. And then you'll see that the microwave is textured now. And that's it, bada bing bada boom. You have a textured microwave. Whoa, that's awesome, look at all that. It looks really nice. Whoever modeled this actually did a really good job. It's a low polygon model and you can see quite enough detail. This would be great for like a mobile game or something. All right, so we have our object textured. Um, that's pretty much the end of it, but I'm gonna show you guys one more thing because different objects will have different textures and sometimes you have multiple textures that you need to layer on top of each other. It gets deep. So we're gonna click on this material um, element here and you'll see that the diffuse texture we have connected to the base color. But sometimes you have more textures to represent the metallic nature of the object, the specularity, the roughness, the bump height, opacity, for example. Uh, most microwaves, the screen part is see-through. So someone could have textured that part and we would have to plug it into the opacity node. Let's say this was opacity. So I'm gonna control C, control V. Imagine this is opacity and this is the screen window texture, we would have to drag it into opacity and you'd be able to see through into the microwave. Um, that's not the case here. They only created one texture for it, but if you're skilled in that sense, you could take that texture, throw it into Photoshop and create like a specular map or a diffuse map or a normal map and all that and have a really nice detailed textured object. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on how to do that in the future. I probably will, but for this basic tutorial, this is simply how you import an object into Unreal Engine and texture it as well. We're gonna save this and that's pretty much it. We have our textured microwave. So I really hope this made sense to you guys. If you have any questions, please leave uh, your questions down below in the comments. I will be more than happy to answer it. Um, yeah, um, the links are going to be in the description as well. It's all right if you're not like a 3D modeler. There's plenty of resources out there. So thanks again, you guys, for watching. Peace out and have an awesome week.